Yes, sir. Welcome to another episode of Podcast and Chill, the Black Friday edition. I am Len Muleko, and this is this part where we make your business our business. And it's very simple to do that. Just head out to our website. This is mcg.com. And there is a contact us page there. There's a form. Fill it out. Give us your details. And you could be sitting right here telling us exactly what you do. Just like Neo did. And I've yeah. known Neo for the longest time. <laughs> I think it spends for about 10 years 10 now, years, right? yeah. More. yeah. Yeah, yeah. And you've been about your business. Yeah, I've been about YDD. Yes. That's what most people know me for. Um, youth development through investigation and dissemination of information. Wow, that's a mouthful, isn't it? I know, it? I know. But when you say why did he, it just makes it very Yeah, sad. no, why did I? Why did he? Yeah. Yeah. So when you when you came into the business space, uh, before we get into why did he? Yeah. And eventually where you are right now, why business? You could have done anything. You could have probably played soccer or you could have been a rapper. Yeah. But you decided to go the business route. Well, you know, initially, I can say it started in tertiary. Yeah. Right? And I was not going into business. I was actually going into something that can bring me money. Um, the struggles of a <laughs> student life yeah. in varsity. Yes, we've been through And, those. Um, you know, you had to come up with plans. Right? And I just found myself, the first business that I actually got into um, was back in the days when... If you owned a Pentium 4, you were like... The guy. The guy, you yeah. know. And uh, I was just refurbishing computers, reselling them. I was studying software engineering. So by training, I'm a software engineer. Okay. And uh, before I embarked full-time into business, I was an analyst programmer. Um, programming systems, you know... Um, I worked for Inet Bridge where we were developing systems for the likes of uh, the JSE and um, banking systems with Netone Applied Technologies. You know the system that pays the Sasa grants? Yes. Yeah, I was, I was working on the, on the infrastructure. We're not going to go into that. We're not going to so, go into that. Yeah. yeah, that was my journey. And then I started YDD because I felt like I could do something while I'm working. Yeah. I could start this thing. And the whole purpose of YDD was to help young people that were looking for a lucky break or a plug to help them develop either academically or in business or, um, you know, career-wise. Mm. And before I knew it, um, it became so demanding that I quit my job. Yeah. Worst thing I ever did at the time. <laughs> because I went broke. Yeah, which is what most entrepreneurs <laughs> will tell you. Yeah, you know. Uh, fast forward 10 years later, and um, up until recently, my primary focus was still developing young people in entrepreneurship incubating them and uh, just walking the journey of entrepreneurship with them um, helping them develop themselves in their careers as well as um, develop within the academic space so that was up until recently when i say up until recently it doesn't mean i've stopped it but um, as you can see i've got <laughs> you know the faha and yes. whatnot and it's a recent development and um, immediately after responding to my calling and i was like yo it means i have to give up what i've worked for and whatnot mm. and i really love technology i've been in the four hour space yeah really pushing a lot of work that side i thought M i have to give up this stuff and the first vision i got was create a sangoma app so <laughs> <laughs> that's a dope vision <laughs> you know and as crazy as it sounds um i started working on it you know, and uh, just last week, I got a call from one of the big pharmaceutical companies in yeah. the country that sells pharmaceuticals. Yeah. And they said they wanted to invest in the idea. And now that is my primary focus. You know, the interesting thing about it, a lot of people actually look at, I mean, you have, you've got doctors. And yeah. You obviously have some gomas. And as the law stipulates in this country. Yeah. They are on the same footing. As far as I'm concerned, yes. You know, it may not be like that on paper or in legislation. But you can get a letter from a Sangoma which yeah. you can produce at yeah. work and say, My Sangoma said, because you're a traditional healer, you, you qualify as, I can call it medical per se, but you're a, you are a traditional healer. <laughs> well, not forgoing the fact that I'm still in training. Yes. Right? But eventually that. That's what will happen. Yeah. Right. So yeah. Um, 
more than anything else, why I'm passionate about this project here is to evidently put it out there that our African medicine is just as good, if not better, as Western medicine. Mm. You know, when I have seen people who were due for operations um, coming to take, you know, Imbiza. Yeah. And, uh, you know, for their cancer treatment before they go for their operation. And when they go for the operation, they are then told that, oh, sorry, you cannot find traces of this cancer. Mm. Um, you know, yeah. so that really struck a chord with me. And then I'm like, why would I get a vision to create an app? And then I started researching and I started finding out that, you know, more than ever, a lot more young people, as uninformed as I have been about this industry, for the long I get it. Yeah. yeah, you know, are getting this calling. You know, mm. it was Boiti. We are seeing the celebrities. Yeah. We see, da, 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 da. and I'm like, well, I'm 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 quite honoured that, you know, I, I I would be asked to come in and bring a tech perspective into this thing and throw it into the mix that it's about time that our African indigenous uh, uh, um, treasure such as the power to be able to pick the right kind of hab out in the fields mm. and put it together and produce something that can tackle some of the most um, life-threatening diseases in the world you know, it's finally starting to join mainstream, yeah. um, you know, medical industry, so to say. So, yeah, right now, that is my primary, primary focus. I'm hoping to be done with the app in the next month or so. And we'll see where it takes us. The interesting thing about it is, uh, I mean, as, as we sit here and as a lot of people that you meet, actually young people. Yeah they will not be able to tell you where to find a traditional healer because traditional healers to us is that whole thing of it's witchcraft our parents witchcraft yeah what, what, that's what, what. that's what people have come to understand it as and that's where i was sitting for a very long time in my life like oh that's uh, what's that exactly. you know what i'm saying and then until the calling is facing you head on and you've avoided it as long as you could have and now you've got to take it up. So I've had to be immense. And a lot of things became demystified. Mm. You know, and a lot of things became clarified for me. And I'm now growing in appreciation of actually the value of this thing that is there. And seeing a lot of young people coming, well, being called into the space yeah. to play their part. You know, so like I'm saying, you know. I see a lot of young people who are now approaching me and they're saying, hey, you know, I'm afraid to talk about this thing, but I've got a, a calling and I don't want to be seen buying these things. So one of the things is to offer them the ability to be able to purchase whatever it is that they need to purchase mm -hmm. in the privacy and the comfort of their own homes. Because we still live in a world that is still very judgmental when it comes to anything black and African. You know, and, and, and the nice thing about it is adding the whole fourth industrial revolution yeah. to it because that is the space that we're moving at. And yeah. with technology moving and advancing so fast, yeah. you get to a point whereby a lot of things that are of indigenous nature, uh, African related, yeah. sort of like get left behind. Absolutely. And in bringing them up to scratch with where technology is going yeah because you can order food you can order clothes yeah you can buy a car you can buy so a why house. can't you locate the sangoma near you exactly you know people will not admit it but now all of a sudden now that people see me dressed like this now all of a sudden they're comfortable to pull me to the side they still do it in secrecy mm. and it's like hey dude you know i'm looking for something like exactly. one two three yeah right so i understand that because of the type of world we live in it being as judgmental as it is and frowning upon anything that is african a lot of people will still require their privacy and you know their secrecy mm. you know um so right now all one is doing is using technology in the space of 4IR mm. to bring what is Africa and what is very, very prominent within black people in Africa mm. into the fore, into technology and create a solution that allows that young person or the, whoever that person is to be able to 
to access whatever they need to access without having to explain themselves because hey guess what they were seen mm. you know so this is going to be a tool that's going to allow them to you know go on to their smartphone Oh, okay, I can go and consult no Nobabas Ban Ban. <laughs> you, you understand what I'm yeah. saying? Over and above that, this is going to be a tool that's going to allow them to go and buy Amapaiwa, but like I am wearing. Yeah. You know, a lot of them, they don't want to go to downtown Jobek. Yes. You know, they feel unsafe because, yeah. <laughs> you know, we know the situation there. Yeah, true. Right? So, a friend of mine called me. Other times, like, hey, dude, I also got a calling. And now I have to go and buy Lamapai. Yeah. And I'm not willing to go downtown Jobek. So... Is there a way in which I can have these things? I can buy them online and courier to me. Exactly, come to the my doorstep. So now, uh, before we get out of here, yeah, those who want to be obviously, it will be a database. Yeah, somebody might be in the Eastern Cape, KwaZulu Natal, wherever they want to be. Well, they've had the calling. They are a traditional healer. How do they get onto your database for them? to be able to, to be accessed by other people well at the moment because we are still in development yeah right um we are still using our primary company which is ydd yeah so what they can do is just simply send me an email mm-hmm. personally it's network at ydd dot co dot za yeah and of course why did he still doing the work of developing the youth okay. right so if you put this all in context it's still one thing it's all about serving the people mm. that's it all right now revolutionary thing that you're doing and i hope a whole lot of young people actually understand that being african is not something to be frowned upon it's something that we need to embrace yeah. because it's a gift that was given to us and what you do with a gift is you need to embrace it and i'm glad that you came onto this platform to tell us exactly what you do <laughs> to make your business our business yeah and uh yeah I'm, I'm i'm glad that you actually had that awakening and you found a way to merge what is african with fourth industrial revolution absolutely thank you thank you very much for having me over absolute absolute pleasure all right now thank you very much all right yeah. oh yeah actually that's a very <laughs> good question <laughs> i'm gonna consult him in private i'm gonna consult him in private and then as the episodes come to you we'll let you know what he said anyway you know, thank you very much and that's again. very funny thank you very much um a lot of the times the people are consulted with they don't know but a lot of the solutions I was giving them, I was actually getting them via that Vibe Air frequency. Ah. <laughs> so let me go consult. Ne? Uh, we'll see you again. Same time, same place, right here on Black Friday. This has been Podcast and Chill with McG. I'll see you on the flip side.